Yeah, no, that's a de- definitely a, an excellent lesson. And um, now uh, the the big thing you're known for that's really gotten you a lot of attention is your book, uh, Built for Show, uh, looking good enough to hook up. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's in it's in all the bookstores. It's everywhere. It's blowing up online. I mean, it's really. Um, I was reading the comments on it on Amazon. It's really a, a phenomenon. Um, what was the process of getting that book produced? Because um, I know that's a, a goal for a lot of trainers, really, to get a major um, national book out there on the bookshelves, not just an ebook. So, um, yeah, how did that sure. how did that process go? Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, a couple points I want to make before I start with my with my rant. Uh, number one, you have to write. You have to be a, a decent writer. You have to, uh, you know, you start off writing for websites like Bodybuilding.com or just writing stuff for your basic. Uh, hometown newspaper or publication. I, I was talking to a couple people uh, that are really big in the fitness industry now, and they told me that they used to write articles for themselves, and then, like, no one ever saw them. So they'd just spend a couple hours writing a 2,000-word article, and no one would ever see it. But they got better at writing. So you can't just say, oh, I'm going to write an e-book or, oh, I'm going to write a book, and expect it to come easy. There's a lot of process that comes into it. Um, number two, figuring out what kind of writer you are. Now, I uh, talked to Lou Schuler, another mentor of mine, who's a former editor of Men's Health and the current uh, uh, contributing editor to uh, T Nation, tmuscle.com. And he told me there's two different kinds of writers. There's ones that supply the information. So Alan Cosgrove, John Berardi, Bill Hartman, Eric Cressy, these guys would be the guys that supply the information. So you see them in Men's Fitness or Men's Health, and it says yada, 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 says Eric Cressy. And those are the guys that they can write. Some of them can write really well, but that's not where their expertise is. They're not journalists. And so they supply the information. The editor takes it and does, you know, works his magic and puts it in the magazine or the book. And then you have the journalists, which is what I, uh, I guess I could categorize myself as. That's what Lou Schuler is. That's what uh, TC, uh, Sean Heisen, the editor of Men's Fit, or Fitness Editor of Men's Fitness is. Now these guys have practical knowledge. Uh, of training, and you know maybe they've never been actual trainers, but they know the basics, and they look for these contributors, and they take the contributors' uh, you know information, and then they work it around, and they kind of make the, uh, the the actual article. So it'd be you know um, unstable surface training by Lou Schuler, and he quotes Eric Cressy in the article. So there's my big rant right there. Sorry if that was too long. But now I can talk about the actual book. All so right. It's really important to get those parts in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, with the book itself, I had the idea, uh, idea at uh, Ryan Lee's boot camp maybe about three years ago. Uh, it was the first. You know, it's, it's funny how much uh, Ryan Lee's name comes up. Uh, I, I just had him on actually last week. And yeah, uh, you know, uh, a million dreams have been launched by that man, it seems. Oh, yeah. Well, what's interesting, I mean, it was a great conference, and I, I got a lot of respect for Ryan. Um, I didn't attend his last one. Um, I, I don't know if, uh, I know some people did, some people didn't. Um, but anyway, I had the idea at the Ryan Lee Boot Camp, and uh, I pitched it to a few people, and then I got back home, and I emailed uh, Lou Schuler, And he thought it was a great idea, and then he yelled at me for telling other people, because apparently an idea in that stage is really vulnerable. And he asked if I wanted to self-publish. I looked at self-publishing costs, and it was just, they're astronomical, they're too high. And so I'm like, well, maybe I'll come out with an e-book. And he kind of put his foot down and said, well, if you want to take this all the way, let me know. I will work with you as an unaccredited co-author, and I'll push it through my channel. So, you know, that, that's the benefit of networking right there, mm-hmm. is I actually didn't do too much. People think that I, like, you know, hawked it, you know, to every publisher in town and tried to find an agent. Really, I just emailed a guy that I've known for a few years that I made contact with a couple of years ago and told him what I wanted to do. He pushed through his channels. We used his agent, David Black. We used his publisher, Avery Publishing. And I started writing the book. I, every time I'd write a chapter, I'd send it over to him. He would make a few changes, make a few uh, uh alterations and give me some advice and then I would rewrite the chapter and it'd be done. Uh, so the whole book itself uh, was really a product of an idea I had a few years ago, but also a product of having that type of uh, network that I could reach out to and get advice from. Oh, that's real cool. That's um, not what you'd expect. You'd expect someone really hustling and knocking on a lot of doors, but I guess um, 
just uh, having those channels there makes everything easy. So um, yeah, it's really that, that's the thing, guys. There is that like I I had knocked on some doors and I was going crazy trying to get it, but it it was it was wild and crazy a couple of years before and to get these other contacts. You see, at this point when I had this idea, I already knew the features editor of Men's Health magazine. I knew the fitness editor of Men's Fitness. I knew Lou Schuler. I knew all these huge guys. And so once I broke down their door trying to get advice from them and, and make myself known and to try to be humble and young and confident and hungry at the same time, uh, that's when everything kind of fell more into place. So it was, definitely wasn't easy, but it was it, it took place a couple of years before all of that. Okay, I get it. So you did actually have to do all of that uh, that hustling and break down those doors in the beginning. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's a way, a way around that. It's just a matter of how it works out. Yeah, no, absolutely. All right, uh, yeah, so we covered a lot. That was um, some really good info. I think um, the last thing I just want to talk to you about uh, is what it is uh, that you're up to now. I mean, it um, seems like you're into a lot of stuff. I think uh, Twitter was kind of invented for people like you. Uh, and I don't, I, and I don't, I don't tweet, so I really don't know what's going on uh, uh, with you right now. So yeah, so what's some of the s- stuff that you have cooking? Honestly, the Twitter thing is something that's a new phenomenon for me. I'm just uh, trying to get it all worked out. My uh, my friend and web designer Jason, uh, we're redesigning and relaunching my uh, my new site, and that should be up. Uh, I want to put words in his mouth. Maybe a few weeks from now. And it's going to have a bunch of new stuff on there, a lot of videos, uh, more in-depth articles and interviews and things like that. And uh, on the T Nation front, I'm actually I'm working full-time for them, so most of my article writing is through them. So I'm traveling quite a bit. I got some trips planned for uh, Vegas, New York, D.C., uh, Oregon coming up. And just uh, can't talk too much about that, but working on some really big projects there. And one project in particular that I think is going to... Uh, going to change the game for guys, you know, ages 18 to 35 in terms of how they look at fitness and how they look at training, and that's going to be a huge, huge project that I'm really excited about. All right, sounds real cool, man. Um, yeah, really looking forward to uh, to seeing what you got uh, on the horizon. All right, Nate, so uh, yeah, so thanks for uh, sharing all that info with me, with the readers, and um, yeah, and uh, definitely you're a guy that we all we, we want to, uh, to keep track of and see what you're doing next. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it.